Hey everyone, welcome to Flowwise AI tutorial. So Flowwise is a open source no-code tool that lets you build and customize AI workflows, for example, chatbots, assistance, integrations, uh, visually using uh, Langchain components. Right guys, so uh, the first thing that you will see when entering the dashboard are different uh, things and automations that you can create. So on the left pane, we have the various stuff we can make by using AI, just like I said, chat flows, agents, executions, etc. So you can just uh, drag and drop the nodes within the each uh, tool and create your automations and of course, customize them to any extent you desire. So for example, let us go to the chat flows and create a new flow now, press on add new. And as you can see, guys, we'll have this dashboard in here as well. This creates a dashboard. So in general, uh, each node that you uh, place onto this work um, place, workspace, call it whatever you want, uh, represents a step in the AI pipeline. For example, you can create LLMs, uh, prompt templates, memory, API connector, whatever. So you just click on the plus if you want to add something. And as you can see, you, you will have these tools, right? these steps automations what's actually going to happen in your workflow so for example you can type in llm and just drag it onto the workflow and after that guys you can just configure it uh, to use openai uh, for example gpt4 uh, you can also um, make sure that it powers your chatbot with natural language responses all right and now you can search for uh, the uh, prompt template node okay so you just drag this onto here and this is going to be your chat prompt template. So of course, guys, also you will have to connect uh, this chat, chat prompt template to your LLM chain. So for that, you just click on this little button and then just drag it to prompt. As you can see, it will connect. And now your chat prompt is connected to the prompt on LLM chain. So as you can see, the rest that we have still uh, to do is add a language model, output parser and input moderation. Now you go plus and add your language model so you just scroll down and get where's our chat gpt open ai uh okay so this one you drag it and of course you also connect it to the language model now you search for the parser and also place it all right as so you can make it smaller so that you see everything and you connect once again so of course guys this is going to be only the example in order to actually make this uh, fully functional, of course, you will need to connect your credential for OpenAI, right? Choose a model name, whichever you wish, temperature, and this, you just have to activate this. Also, in additional additional parameters, you can also, as you can see, uh, adjust everything. And now you just choose the system message, human message, so basically customized to any extent. Just don't forget about your credential, and then you can just start working with this. So this is just an example, guys. And you can do this for many other things, not only for creating a language model and actual, the actual chat that will accept responses and give you answers. Many things can be done here. So as a wrap up, guys, you can uh, create no code AI workflows. You can build chatbots, assistants and document Q&As or AI agents and deploy easily without writing code. Just press on save after you're finished. Uh, name the chat flow and then save so bingo chat flow saved so pretty much as you can see very nice service for using ai for automating tasks guys enjoy if this was helpful don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and leave us a comment about what you think see you soon